But we want to use this medium to also encourage the government. There's a saying that anything worth doing at all is worth doing well. If you have decided that you want to save your people from dying, then it's good to see clearly to it that whatever resource is being committed for that purpose really gets to the the people at the grassroots, the people that you intended to, to, to get to so that they can benefit. Because when you release funds and there's no proper monitoring and funds have been diverted or food stuff being diverted at the end of the day, people get what may not even be enough to uh, give them up to two meals or even feed them for a day and you want them to stay at home for two weeks or one month and you're only able to provide a meal for a day and they are not working and majority of our uh, people are people who live on daily income in the informal sector so in that kind of situation it becomes difficult and that's why we began to see sparks of riots in different parts of the country then finally another area of concern is the fact that the security agencies need proper brief uh, briefing so that these incidents of deaths because unfortunately currently in Nigeria more persons have died from the hands of security agencies uh, 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 the military than from the virus as of today this calls for uh, um, better reorientation of our officers and men so that they will be more civil in their approach to uh, uh, dealing with people who uh, violate the lockdown uh, instructions. And finally, what I want to say concerning the lockdown is that, uh, especially in some states, in virtually most of the states, okay, the instruction is that people should sit at home, but the only people allowed to possibly maybe come out are people who are in the health sector and those who sell food. If those who sell food are allowed to, to come out so that people can buy food, and when people now go out to buy food, they now end up being beaten up and killed, it becomes somehow conflicted and contradictory. My advice strongly on these issues is that if people are to buy food, at most maybe we should have a window period, a, a time period to say, okay, from so time to so time is when people are allowed to come out to buy food stuff. Apart from that time, being seen around that period will maybe become an offense. If we don't do that, if we kill people who come out to buy food or beat them up or come out to buy food, how will they get food to eat? And those that you say should open to sell food, how, you know, it's, it doesn't work uh, in such a way. So I think there should be proper briefing of the officers and men, the military, and also possibly maybe a time belt should be fixed for people to go out and buy things so that this constant uh, incident of people being killed uh, in an attempt to go and get food for their family will not continue to reoccur. So this has been the some of the experiences we've had here in Nigeria concerning the COVID-19. And finally, we want to say that uh, it's a hope that the world gets out of this and somehow will find a way to unite again and be able to re restore our full humanity. Thank you and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.